BMW's latest sports activity coupe concept made its worldwide debut about two weeks ago and it has been traveling all around the world in preparation for its first public debut right here in Shanghai. My name is Harvinder and I'm from Paultan.org, Malaysia's number one automotive news website. And I'm right here at the Auto Shanghai 2013 event where BMW's latest concept, the X4 concept, will make its public debut in about 30 hours time. As you can see, a lot of uh, preparations are still being made. And I have Mr. Richard Jacobi, the product manager of BMW, and uh, he will answer some of our questions that were posted by you guys on our website. So, Mr. Jacobi, tell us, why did you come up with this car? You might remember in 2008 when BMW launched the BMW X6, the first sports activity coupe worldwide. This concept turned out such a great success that actually we decided to transfer this concept to a lower vehicle class and therefore next time we will present the BMW X4. Who do you think would buy a car like this? Imagine a customer looking for a mid-range SUV and he looks for something unique, something really sporty with a real emotional design and uh, I'm very optimistic that the X4 will be one of the first choices. Okay, and uh, what about the uh, pricing of the car? Pricing is top secret at the moment, but let's say I can give a range between the X3 and the X5. Hopefully closer to the X3, I suppose? Closer to the X3, yes. Okay, good. And uh, what about the, uh, the launch date? Because I understand by looking at this car, it looks very much production ready. So it should be soon, but when would it be? Launch will be next year in 2014. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Jacobi. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, now we'll get some design-related questions answered. Hi, Sebastian. Hi, nice Hi. to meet you. This is uh, Sebastian Sim. He's from the BMW design team. So, Sebastian, talk us through the design of the car. Uh, basically, the BMW X4 blends the character of an SUV with a uh, BMW coupe. The lower part, we show more the SUV heritage with this uh, big uh, square uh, wheel arches, the big wheels and the protection cladding. If you go higher up the car, the lines get more and more fluent and give the car the coupe feeling. Okay, what about the side profile of the car? Basically, uh, we made a new interpretation of the sickle line uh, to highlight the rear wheel and to show more muscle. It also helps us uh, to give more shoulder on the uh, rear part of the roof. What about the uh, front? Anything new that is uh, on this concept? We made new interpretations of the double round headlight. Uh, with a more squared form and more angled towards the inner to give uh, like a good X stance. Then uh, we indicated a shark nose on the kidneys. This also helps to get even more air into the cooler. And on the lower part you see we put much love in the details just uh, to give this car a little bit uh, re refinement. Also here you see uh, built aluminium parts which uh, protect the car if you go off-road. Okay, thank you so much, Sebastian. Thank you for having and me. Thank you, everyone. We hope that we've got all your questions answered. See you next time.